bad boys don't compare. By comparing yourself to all the other lads out there and devaluing yourself to the utmost degree by doing so, you are projecting an image of yourself as a pussy. Because you are amazing the way you are, don't belittle yourself. Stop comparing yourself to others, and allow me to suggest a constructive substitute. You can begin evaluating yourself in relation to your past self, and then you can make objectives for the future. However, don't focus on one objective alone. After breaking one, you must begin your journey to complete the other. Invest in yourself. Bad boys invest money in themselves. Let's face it, if you don't spend money on yourself, your appearance, and other things, your girl will tell you directly that you were much more attractive previously. How did you treat yourself? Avoid apologizing all the time. I only want you to understand your value because lately, in your quest to please everyone, you seem to have forgotten it. You are the most valuable person you will ever meet, to put it succinctly so, take good care of yourself and your dignity. Don't think so much. Overanalyzing won't get you anywhere. Like there is no way out, it is an infinite cycle. When will you act if you spend all of your time thinking about absolutely everything? You will never be able to make the right decision if you spend the entire day debating whether you should wash your face with face wash A or B. Every adventure has its twists and turns, and life is the name of one of such adventures. Enjoy life, make mistakes, learn from them, and keep going like a badass. Never request permission. Planners are the bad boys. They prepare things and then respectfully communicate them to others. You must accept their offer, which other people are unable to reject. However, there is one thing that I absolutely do not want you to do as you pursue your goal of becoming a bad boy, I do not want you to treat people disrespectfully. Men, keep it in mind. Bad boys are the most gorgeous male specimens because they appreciate women more than any other type of male. The leaders are usually the badass bad boys. Leaders are bad lads. They understand what it takes to be a leader, not to mention that someone needs to guide the entire team down the right route. One of the reasons most people don't go out as leaders is because they are terrified of being evaluated. They fear making errors or perhaps they don't want to continually be in the spotlight as a leader. But that is not how you ought to be thinking. Put on a bad boy look. When it comes to choosing a specific bad guy costume, I would go with a black leather jacket, either a regular or motorcycle style, a sexy black fitting t-shirt, a tough pair of denim jeans, boots, and possibly sneakers as well. Also, don't forget to wear plain leather belts, a pair of black pants, and sweatshirts without too many patterns or motifs on them. You have to feel like a terrible boy before you can become one. How do you get that bad boy vibe? To feel and appear like a bad boy, you must possess the highest level of confidence. Bad boys are emotionally resilient. Poor boys recognize that everyone on our planet receives crap from life. Some people find it impossible to overcome these difficulties, but those who can use them to improve themselves are the ones who succeed. Stop crying about stuff. What is lost is lost. Your current situation requires your care and attention. Since most bad boys have endured horribly dismal crap in the past, which has strengthened them to this point, they are incredibly difficult to break. Bad boys carry out their desires. Don't be afraid to follow your passion since poo hash dollar east do it. They worry that they won't put in enough effort to develop a passion for their career. They are reluctant to disprove the beliefs of others. I don't want to sound like a motivational speaker, but it is the reality. There will be obstacles in your path, but life again uses filters to distinguish between the successful bad boys and all the other regular fellas.